Hey, hey everyone, this is Neil Napier and welcome to the Kyvia workshop series. Now we're in the second part of the series and today we want to talk about building a recurring membership business, how to drip feed content and bring people in using the octopus method. But before I get to that, I did leave the last session a little bit unfinished and I want to finish that up and show you a few things inside of Kyvia I couldn't do last week. So just give me a quick yes if you can hear me all right. Give me a quick one or whatever you can to let me know that I am in fact coming through fine. That'd be awesome. Perfect. Giselle says yes, can hear you and see as well. Great, excellent. Uh, Annette is on the call too. Sam, Jason, perfect. Okay, great. So last time we talked about how to build a simpler business and it's funny because I don't have uh, I don't have paid access to this app and I thought I saved it but apparently that board didn't get saved so what the hell uh, but the thing is that we talked last time about your first product how to approach it in terms of you know talking to your customers understanding the needs and whatnot how to build a landing page and then how to do email marketing following from there as well now I do want to go inside of Kyvio and show you a little bit of how everything fits together. I would recommend you though that the tutorials are much more thorough than I'm going to be. So if you're watching this and if you want to technically understand Kyvio, tutorials are a better place to go. So if I just open that up, let's go here, support.kyvio.com, you'll see inside the knowledge base, which is right over here, you'll see that there are a lot of tutorials already and new ones are being added every single day and every single week. So make sure you go through that. And if you have any questions still, you can reach out to us via the support desk. Now, if I head back over here, I wanna show you a few important things inside of Kyvio that at least I myself end up using all the time. One of them is the smart funnels, then the smart memberships, and finally the email marketing aspect of it. There are other things as well inside it that I like and I use, but these three are the ones that are some things that I log into every day to either update the content, create a new landing page or edit the old one or just send out an email. Now, depending on what you are doing to begin with, if you, let's say if you're completely new, you've never done any kind of marketing before, you're not gonna have an email list, right? So the email marketing module for you might not be that useful. What you would want to do is build an email list, which you can do using some kind of a landing page. So you can use the landing page aspect of the software, so the smart funnels, and you can build your landing pages and collect leads right from those pages, which is great. But maybe you're an educator, maybe you're someone who has a lot of knowledge and they want to publish a course. Now in this case, my recommendation would be to publish the course as late as you can. That's not to say that you shouldn't sell, you should absolutely sell, but what, happen, what helps quite often is to actually have your sales page done first, even before you create your content. Why? Because when it comes to creating content for me, I tend to go on a completely new tangent when I'm just building something out without having any intention or, or means of selling it. But if I first create a sales page, I'm going to write down every benefit someone can get. I'm going to write down every reason why someone would want to buy. And that itself will help me make the course so much better. So this is a mistake a lot of people make. They say, okay, let me build something to sell first. Let me build, let's say, a course in this case. And after that, I will go ahead and build a funnel. And then after I've built the funnel, I'm going to do the emails, right? I want you to do, it, do this in a different way. I want you to do the funnel first. Then I want you to do the emails. And then finally, I want you to build a course. I just talked about the funnels because if you do that, if you build a funnel first, you will know exactly what you want to, to give to people. It's like kind of outlining your product, right? But instead of just outlining it, you're also justifying people reasons for buying it. Because once you can justify those reasons, the very first video, the introduction video of your course will be about, hey, thank you so much for getting this course. Here's what this course is going to help you achieve. A lot of people create courses and they don't reaffirm the reason why people purchase in the first video. Because of that, they get a lot of refunds. Because of that, they get a very little consumption in the course because people don't remember why they purchase in the first place. 
So find a way to first do the, uh, the funnel, the sales page, and then do the emails even. Think about this for a second. Let's say in your funnel you've got an opt-in page and then you've got a sales page. So when someone signs up on the opt-in page, what can you tell them to convince them to buy the product? Remember, you haven't even written the product yet. You haven't even created the product yet. If you can write the email sequence without creating the product, you will know exactly what it is you need to say to people to, again, convince them to buy it. So you'll be able to take them through a journey. You know, the hero's journey, for example. Like back in the day, I used to be so poor and I didn't have this and I didn't have that. And then I did this and this was a result. That could be your email sequence. That journey could be something you walk your prospect on. So they go from being just someone they know you to being someone they, they like and trust you and they want to buy from you. So in an ideal world, do your funnel first, then do the email series, and then finally start creating a product. Now, if you have attended some of the other sessions I've done before, I talk about this strategy. I'm going to uh, write it here. I think it's called, uh, yeah, F-I-D-I-L, right? There's a little bit of profanity in it, but it's called Fuck It, Do It Live. The idea being that you know, it came from Bill O'Reilly, who said, I think he was really upset one time during his, his newscast interview, and uh, he couldn't he couldn't do a recorded one, and he said, just screw it, we're just going to do it live when the time comes. And that's the idea. That the course itself, you can deliver live if you choose to. If you have structured your course in such a way, first spend a lot of time selling it, and then spend a little bit more time delivering it at the end. So that's one way to go. So when I think about going back to Kaivio, the very first thing you should be doing even before you create a product is create your funnel. So go into smart funnels, decide what kind of funnel you're going to build. So if I say a new funnel, this could be a sales funnel. So you, of course, want to sell the course, but maybe the page one, you don't want that to be a sales page. You want that to be, let's say, a landing or opt-in page. Then you want the page two to be a sales page and page three to be a thank you page. That's it. You don't need this. Oh, that reset, that looks like a bug, but let's go back and do this. Great, let's click on next. And you can pick one of these templates that is available. Right, so I'm gonna go for, let's say, if I click here, I can preview it, what it looks like. And now I can see all the pages. There, right, so this is what the page looks like. I'll look at another one. Let's go for this one. So this is what this page looks like. So I might think, yep, I'm okay with this. I'll just select template and click next. And let's call this one Fiddle Funnel. Let's click on next. And the funnel has been created successfully. When the page refreshes, I'm just going to jump over to the last page here. And I can see that this funnel is available. Let's go in. The pages are inactive, but if I go to edit them, this one was again empty, so it doesn't exist, but this one is the sales page that we looked at. And this one, I don't think this one exists. It's a thank you page. So now I can go in and I can start building out this out the way I want. So I can go in and say, okay, let's go ahead and change some colors. I want a clearer white background here. Great. I want a wider block. Let's delete this one. We've got a wider block here that you can see is highlighted. I want to drop a headline. Okay. I'm going to drop this right over here. And this way I can build out a complete page. Right. If I go back in here, let's go to forms. Let's go to this kind of form. There. So I can build out my pages or I can use one of these templates to continue building it out. Once I'm done with this, I'm going to click on publish, preview, make sure everything works fine. Again, I won't go into the technical details. But once I'm done with my funnel, remember for now, all I want to do is make sure that the opt-in goes to the sales page 
and there's maybe a thank you page that is sitting because we haven't really created a product yet so we're not we don't really have buy buttons in place at the moment we'll get to that at the end that's not necessary right now what is necessary though is an email series so we want to wrap this one up we want to wrap up this particular process so if someone opts in where should the lead go well in that case i can jump on over to email marketing and i can build a new list you do need to have your smtp configured to this so make sure that you do but once that is done go into list manager and make sure that you have a new list in place that people automatically get added to when they do you can build out a sequence so if you click on the the sequences here you can build out a complete sequence which you can send to people and they will hopefully then buy that product from me if they didn't buy it immediately so it gives you a chance to go back to people and give them more opportunities to purchase if they didn't purchase immediately okay so again going back to whiteboard all you're doing from opt-in opting in is setting up a new list and you're setting up an autoresponder sequence which sells people this particular product simple as nothing more complicated then once you're done with that you've done your funnel you've done your emails now you build out the course now again you don't need to actually build out the entire course to begin with you can just go into smart membership so you'll see the new layout here now you can go into smart membership and you can jump on into products and add a new one i'm just going to go ahead and edit this one because i don't want to just create a new one but if you add a new product you'll be able to put the product name product description how you wish to collect payments via paypal stripe or many other options they're all available once you set up integrations right over here okay my browser is being a little bit less responsive but you can set up all the integrations here you can set up different prices if you want to so if someone pays a full price you can unlock everything for them if they don't want to pay the full price you can take out some of the things for example and then you can set up actions so if someone signs up they pay you can add them to let's say if they pay for this one you can add them to a new autoresponder as well you can add, give them another product if you choose to within your Kaiviyo framework you can register people to a new webinar as well if you want and so on and so forth so you've got various different options available but the coolest one is the content this is where you start giving people all the content that they have paid for now initially remember you're not going to have any content if you do what i'm showing you but that's okay you can still set up a framework and again remember you have the framework because you use that when you were building out your funnel when you're building out your funnel you told people in the sales space exactly what they were going to get if they buy and then here you start building those out worst case scenario you can just put fake content in there and say coming soon or coming on this date or if it's a webinar that they need to sign up on where you will deliver the live content you can say sign up on the webinar to get the live content that's perfectly fine as well but once you have all of this if i go back to prices and levels i can grab this payment link which is what we need because if i have this payment link i will be able to get people to pay me money so i'm going to take this link i'm going to go back this is the opt-in page but if i go back to the sales page i can put that link in there and once i do this is the kind of missing link the payment button once i do when people pay they can end up on the thank you page so that's how you build this kind of funnel again people do it differently they spend a lot of time creating stuff very little time selling stuff i want you to do things differently i want you to spend more time selling things and again that's not to say that you shouldn't focus on creating you shouldn't focus on building stuff absolutely do that but if you spend all your time building it and the people don't buy it you will be disappointed and it happens to everyone it happens to me as well i just in those cases cut my losses and move forward to the next thing and that's not to say that i don't support what i have done before i still do but it's just that i realize that's not going to be the offer that i can help the most number of people with right that's not going to be the offer that i can help myself with i need to find something else and that's perfectly all right so the point being that 
you might think that the course itself is a centerpiece of what you're doing. It's not. It's the funnel. It's how you move people from one step to the other to the other. Because if you've got that, once you've templatized it, you can just change out the course and you can still get good results with others. There's that old expression, right? That rich people get richer, poor people get poorer. Now, most of the time it's because rich people are using their money to invest and then they are, you know, tripling it, quadrupling that money that they have put in. Because they have worked out a template that works every single time and they're using it. What do you think? If a poor people does that, if a poor person does that, and if one time it makes them money, if they really want to be rich after that, they would just use the same template and keep doing that over and over again. Unfortunately, because someone who doesn't have a lot of money, the first thing they do when they get the money is they blow it all over. They blow it all up, right? So if I think about lottery winners, the mistake that lottery winners make is that they get paid a lot of money and they're like, cool, we're rich and you know we're going to be rich forever. They go buy a car, they go buy a big house, they spend money on things that they don't need, they don't invest it anywhere and they go bankrupt. Unfortunately, creating a really good course without a good funnel can be a little bit like winning a lottery. Sure, you might have created the best course there ever is, but if you can't turn that into a repeatable thing, if you can't sell more of that, you will eventually go bankrupt. Does that make sense? Again, I hope I didn't offend anyone with this analogy, but I just want to make sure that you give yourself the opportunity to sell more, not just to keep creating. Okay, good. And that says I have to focus on selling. Perfect. Perfect, Giselle. That's good as well. And Tim says yes, it's true. Okay, excellent. Now, let's move forward then. This was kind of like a brief overview of showing you three core parts of Kaivio. There's much more to this, but this is what we are kind of kind of calling the Kaivio core. You know, a few very important things inside of Kaivio. Now, having said all that, I do want to move to the next section which is building a recurring membership how to drip feed content and bringing people in using the octopus method now the three parts to this number one is building a recurring membership number two is drip feeding content which is kind of you know ties in with recurring membership and finally it's about the octopus method i want to do well let's say a little bit of case study for you here and some of you might know this because we are doing that as well right now with so I'm going to use my own product here right so it kind of makes sense let's try and remove this again that hasn't worked okay let's say it's deleted but let's refresh okay okay that's still there uh, let me try this okay excellent so here's the thing most of the courses that you've seen me selling you know range anywhere between say $49 to $997 now this is okay for cash flow this is like the lower end price point is good for me to keeping my users activated all the time like really I don't make I make very little money from $49 offers but I do that because it keeps my customers buying something from me all the time, right? I'm not saying like they need to buy every week from me, but once a month I give them the opportunity, like here's the right offer, here's the right, right price point. If you're interested, go buy and they buy it because 49 is an absolutely no brainer, but it doesn't make a lot of money for us. What does make a lot of money is higher ticket items is 997, but with 997, what I have to deliver goes up. I have to do more work. I have to work with less customers. I'm more responsible of the of the results that they get. So there's these two very different kind of price points. Now it's interesting to to kind of tell you who buys what. And again, I'm only talking about my industry, but about my market, things might be different from for you. And a lot of this will be meta because you might have bought a forty nine dollar course from me, and you you know you think, oh Neil, that's what you did there, right? I don't mind sharing that because, you know, it's, to me, it's it's common sense, but I know a lot of people don't see it. And I think I want to educate people rather than just continue selling it to them because a lot of people buy from me because they're like, oh, cool, that was great education. Tell me what more do you have? 
sort of thing. So in this case, typically people who buy $49 are two kinds of people. People who, you know, $49 product, I'm not talking about AppSum, I'm talking about information product only. Hey. So people who buy a $49 product are people who are looking for, they have one problem and they're looking for one solution. So this $49 product will open up a certain lock for them, right? That's what they're looking for. They're looking to open this lock. That's what they need. Then there are other people who are like, oh, cool, you know, only 49 bucks. I, yeah, sure, why not? I'll buy this product. So they're more habitual buyers. You know, they're just interested to buy things from me. And, and there really are people like that out there that do that. Now, the people who buy at $997 also buy for two reasons. One of the reasons is because they are desperate. Now, they believe in the pitch so much, they like the pitch so much that they're like, holy crap, this is it. This is exactly what I've been waiting for all my life. I'm just going to put the last money I have into this and I'm going to buy it right now. So they buy it. Unfortunately, most of them crash and burn. And that is most of the people who buy. 80% of them buy because of scarcity. 80% of them buy because they think it's the right thing, but they haven't done their calculation. They haven't done their judgment. The only people who do get results with this kind of thing are people who have done the calculation. They know what they need. And they know this is it. And this is the right time. So they buy it. And it's like a complete thing. You know, it tells them everything from start to finish. Right. I'm just going to put hobby buyers here. So habitual buyers. So these are the people that have done the entire research that they, they, they hassle me for a few days. Neil, I've got these like five questions. Can you answer those as well? And I do. And they come go back and say, OK, Neil, those brought up 10 more questions. Can you answer that? And I do, because even if they don't buy, at least I want them to be more savvy about what they need. So I help them out. Now, the funny thing is, like I said, this kind of people don't survive or they don't get results. Desperate people don't get results either. These two people get results. One who, you know, and the commonality there is the people who buy the thing that they need for the right reasons. Right? So they know exactly what they need. It's the right time. It's the right thing. And they've got the money as well to buy. Now, that's the typical buyer mindset. I want to talk about why recurring is better than this one time. So we have a recurring program at $99 a month. We don't have a lot of people, but I don't want a lot of people at the moment. I'm kind of okay keeping it small because we're still fine tuning it. We're still finding out our positioning and whatnot. So I'm okay having people in at $99 a month only. Now the way this one works is we say it's called Funnel Ramp. Let me just write the name in here so you can, you can kind of put this in your mind. So it's called Funnel Ramp. The idea being that I'm going to take people through, you know, through a journey and I'm going to help them improve their funnels over time. Now, I'm not out there teaching basic stuff. I mean, sure, some of the things that I teach are basic, like what I'm showing you now is exactly the kind of thing I teach in there twice a month. You know, things where I take them deep into the buyer psyche, deep into like how to build a funnel what kind of things you should do. I talk about all of that. Like the uh, the fiddle thing, I brought it there three months ago. And those guys have been doing it for a while and they've been getting results with it as well. So I take my best kept secrets to them for $99 a month. And this is the price between this and this. It's almost double of what they pay every month. And it's almost equal to, you know, what it would be annually. So here's how people look at this price, those who know me anyway. For, for that price, by the way, also give them any product that I release. If I'm releasing a new product, especially information product, I tell them like, yep, it's your for, yours for free. You don't even need to pay again. So they're like, cool. You know, every month we get a $49 product for free. Why not? Every month we get two group calls for free. Why not? Every month, you know, if you have questions about a funnels, we can give it to Neil and he can critique them. Why not? So they do all of that. They take, you know, it's it's a no-brainer. For people that pay $9.97, they're like, yeah, I mean, you know, I might not find value in it all the time, but if I stick, a bit, stick with it for the next 10 months, 12 months, I'm sure I'll get my money's worth. 
that's why they buy it. So funnily enough, both these kinds of buyers come into this. Now, there are problems though. Like if I'm doing this for 99 a month and if I end up giving training that none of these two groups need, they will leave sooner or later. They'll be like, yeah, you know, I got it thinking it'll be useful. It's not really useful, so I'm just going to go. So I have to stay on top of this. I have to talk to them all the time, see, hey, what do you need? What are you struggling with? What can I help you with? And I help them with that. And they don't need to pay 997. They don't need to pay 49. Somewhere in the middle. Right? So I give them that. Now, the good thing is for me that this is, I know money coming in every month. Like, sure, I have to do the training if I can't. Alvin jumps in and does that if I'm traveling or if I'm unavailable. But I know, you know, in the, in my case, again, this is not a, a lot of money. It could be if I build it right. But for a lot of people, getting paid 99 a month from 10, 20 clients is pretty good. If they only have to do like literally 10 hours of work a month, which is what I do on this. So that's really good ROI. And again, you have some sense of predictable income. You know the money's going to continue coming in month after month. You know that when people jump in, they're going to get value out of this immediately. Right? So this is why, to me, recurring is always better than one time. Because if I if I do $49, let's say if I do $49, I might make five grand this month, $5,000. Next month, I do it again, and I might make $5,000 again. But this is a new product every month that I have to create. I have to create a new funnel every month. New sales pages, you know, new, I have to find new angles. I have to just build stuff every month. And, and that gets tiring after a while. So it's not something I would recommend you to do long term. But if I'm doing this, like literally, just to fulfill it, just to keep getting paid $5,000 a month and have 50 people on our on our course. All I have to do is just deliver stuff. Just make sure that the content is there when people need it. Just make sure that we do surveys every month and ask questions. Hey, what else do you need? What else can I offer you? So that's what we do with this kind of recurring business. Now, will it fit? Every business type, no. If all you do all the time is one problem, one solution, you don't need recurring. I mean, don't force it. But if you know that someone in that line of business has like a new problem every week, definitely do this. Another example of a really good recurring business type for membership is Facebook ads. Hey, Facebook ads change every week. Let us show you what's new every week. Let us keep you on top of it so you don't have to read the terms and services. People are like, great. Like, I can just go to this one-hour call and I don't need to read Facebook's ad guidance ever again. They're happy with it. Think about, for example, traffic generation. You know, it's something that everyone wants to do. So if you just do one session every couple of weeks where you go in-depth into one traffic method and show them how to use it, they would be like, yeah, this is great. Like I can just implement it and start getting results. And they do, and they're happy to come back in week after week, month after month, because it just makes sense. Because that tap will never be shut. They can always get traffic from a different source if the current one doesn't work out. So there are some niches, some product types, some objections, some, some problems that demand recurring products. Yours could too. Let me see if you have any questions. Yep, recurring is my goal, says Annette. So think about your market. Think about what it is that you do, and if you could create something in the recurring niche with that. You know, for, for not the recurring niche, but in a recurring way for that. And it could be structured differently. I mean, maybe the recurring element is just to help with you. The content stays the same. So for example, you might want to structure it as, hey, here's a $297 course. You know, you get like lifetime access or one-time access to this. Plus then for $27 a month, you get one group coaching call every month. Right? That's all you pay. When you stop paying, you get, you know, you can't attend the group calls anymore. And we hope that's okay. Uh, 
but that's something you can do as well. So see how you can take what you have, bring it into your domain. Now, one thing that works really well with recurring, let's go into smart memberships, is content dripping feature. So, for example, if I go into, let's go for this one, four pillars for a successful membership site. If I go into content, I can take one of this, right? And I can click here on the drip expire settings button. Again, my browser is being a little bit strange, so I apologize. There, I can say enable content drip, in which case maybe after purchase, you can enable content drip after like say five days. So this content would show up only after five days. in the members area, otherwise it won't. Which is good for recurring because if you once you set this up now, you can kind of have this up and running forever. Maybe you have enough content to go for 12 months and you bring people in, but even if you bring people in six months down the line, they don't get the six months of content that's already there. They all start from the beginning, which is again, perfect for evergreen markets. If you're selling something in the news market, of course you wanna be more current. But if it's a traffic, generation thing yeah you can you know people can start from google seo in the first week and then in the last week they'll be looking at facebook ads and that's perfectly fine there you need to have a process you can't start someone on facebook ads if they've never even done seo right so you need to think about all those things and that's where drip feeding comes in but the thing i really like the most i want to delete a few things let me just refresh this one the thing I really like the most is the octopus method, right? So let's say this, I'm gonna write down octopus. Actually, I'm gonna try and create an octopus, which is even more fun. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and I messed that up already, eight. Okay, so here's our octopus, right? And with anything that you sell, especially recurring memberships, you will find multiple ways of approaching that problem. So let's say in our case, you know, funnel ramp, we've got funnel ramp and uh, of course, most of the time we help people, you know, create better funnels. We teach people what kind of funnels are working, what kind of funnels are not working and so on and so forth. But I can approach this, this membership, which is $99 a month at the moment. I can approach this with a very specific angle to begin with, I can say, let's say the first ang angle would be stay up to date with your funnels, you know, with what kind of funnels are working out there in the market. So my entire campaign of the week will be about like, hey, you know, did you hear about the story of someone who became so big that they stopped looking at what everyone else was doing and then they got shut down, Nokia. You know, they were a really big company but at some point they became too complacent because they stopped innovating, they stopped changing. Everyone around them was doing new kinds of advertising, doing you know what is essentially funnels, but they had an old and boring website. So don't make the same mistake Nokia did, build new funnels all the time. So that's the first angle. you know. And if you wanna build new funnels all the time, we show you in our membership how to do just that. Like come join and every every couple of weeks, I'm gonna give you like a new kind of funnel that you can, build for your business. And people are like, yeah, this is awesome, we'll buy. But others are like, no, 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 it's not good enough, still we're not gonna buy. Then what I do is that next week I say, hey, you know, if you joined last week, that's great. Uh, I had an epiphany. I realized that a lot of people who were on the first session, they saw what I was doing, but they, was, they still felt that they wanted more. So they asked me if I could actually share that funnel with them. And I thought, yeah, why not? So I just gave them my funnel. So what if not only do I show you great funnels, but I also give you them? Would you be interested? Right? People are like, yeah, I mean, done for your funnels, Neil, that sounds awesome. Sign us up. So they buy as well. They're like, great. Excellent. Two weeks are done. Week three comes. Maybe I can give it a break. Maybe I don't. But week three comes in. 
And then I think about another problem that I'm solving with this. Then I talk to them about, you know, life before Facebook. Do you remember life before Facebook? I mean, I don't. You know, it's only been, I don't know, 15 years or 14 years. But Facebook has brought such a community feeling to our lives that we can't you know, imagine a life without it. Now, just think about this. You know, 15 years is a long time. But what if in the next six months you had a community around you that would help all your questions about, you know, your funnels that could look at your funnels, critique them, give you their opinions, give you their feedback? Would that interest you? What if you had a community around you where people would be kind of, you know, in the same boat as you, but willing to help you? What if I was there as well? What if I was to do, you know, a call with you every, whenever you wanted? Or a group call like twice a month? Would that interest you? They're like, yeah, you know, like one-on-one -on -one help sounds awesome. Where do I sign up? I'm like, cool. In case you didn't know, it is also part of your funnel ramp package. So then they go by because of that reason. Okay. Giselle says that's a kick-ass octopus. I love that way of brainstorming. Exactly. So that's the third thing. I mean, now by now, a lot of people have signed up. Now I need to go with another angle. Now I need to go with something else. Right. And eventually I will, I will run out. I mean, it can happen. Like, you know, maybe some things that you make are so specific that you run out. So here's how you overcome that. You say, hey, I'm publishing a new course on how to build a funnel in 10 minutes. I'm literally going to sit down, build an entire funnel from start to finish in 10 minutes, and I'm going to show you how you can repeat the process. Initially, it might take you an hour, but as you keep doing this more and more, you'll get as good as me, and it'll take you 10 minutes. The entire course is $99. Plus, when you get it, you get one month free of Funnel Ramp. You get one month free of Funnel Ramp. If you want to cancel it, you cancel it. But I'm sure that once you kind of see that I go, you know, in, in the Funnel Ramp itself, I'm doing more than just 10 minute funnels, you'll be amazed. You want to stick around. And, you know, the cool thing is that you get all our courses for free in the future as well. You don't need to buy the, you know, course like this ever again. People are like, oh, wow, this is like a great deal. You know, if I get in, I just, you know, I can get the whole membership for free for a month. And then I can get any new courses you publish for free. Yeah, why not? Let's get in. So they jump in. That's the fourth angle. The fifth angle, I could go for pain. I could go for agony. Hey, do you have a course right now that, or, or a product that you know is really good because you worked on it for months and months, but you're not able to sell it? Do you know why? Is it because of the funnel? Do you have a funnel ready? Is your funnel good? Because if not, I can help you. You know, Funnel Ramp is all about not just putting a Band-Aid on where your business is broken, but actually fixing it for good. And that's what we can do. We can fix your business, right? So if I just write down fix your business here. So this one is not like a new feature. It is not at all. It's more of a positioning angle. It's more of me telling them that, hey, I can fix this for you, right? That's how you position it. And honestly, by the time you're into week five, you will have learned so much from your audience, they will say, oh, we also want this, or we also want that, or what if it had this? Maybe the next thing you will do is checklists. You know, you decide, okay, what, I can, I can enhance the value here by giving people checklists as well. And then you start doing weekly checklists. You can give it to your virtual assistant who can just, you know, browse blog posts or videos from other people and create like a checklist and they run it by you. And you're like, okay, this is A-OK, -okay, let's publish it. And you release that every week or every couple of weeks and people can get those checklists. So that's the idea. Initially, you need to solve one core recurring problem for people with your recurring membership. And then as you keep on evolving it, you'll realize that you only need eight different ways to sell to people. And that's more than enough because here's what will happen. 
once you've done the once you've through with this once you've done your six seven eight six seven eight you realize that some of them work exceptionally well some of them don't but some of them work exceptionally well if they do you can take them out to the cold traffic as well right maybe let's say you know the one-on-one -on -one call thing works really well the fix your business thing works really well the done for you thing works really well so when you approach cold traffic you can say hey would you like two new done for you funnels every month that are proven to convert that generate leads that make money if you would join our course maybe you say hey you know for just a short time i'm doing a one-on-one -on -one call you know with with someone usually i charge like 99 dollars uh, you know 299 for this but it's 99 only and you can cancel any time after that if you don't then you get access to all of this approach it from that angle maybe the, then your position could just be is your business hurting if it is let me help you let me fix your business so if you go with the octopus method you will realize that not everyone will be appealed by this one positioning i mean honestly there might be people that have seen everything all seven but they're still not convinced and on the eighth one they'll be like yes i want to get this right now this is it this is what i was hoping you will talk about and you do and they buy perfect you're done two months great then you start approaching the entire list again those that haven't bought from the beginning with a few changes a few minor changes because by the time you're done with eight weeks of coaching you would have learned so much work so many things now it's not just about hey keep your funnels up to date up to date but maybe now you can bring in a story you can bring in results like hey you know samantha didn't update her funnel and uh, you know she went down from making 2000 a month to 800 a month and then she came on this call and she was able to execute this and instantly she went back up to 1500 and now she's at 2500 would you like to achieve the same results right so the idea is that when it comes to recurring then it's all about the community then your only focus other than creating content is to help people get the result that they came in for and if you can do that do that it will give you enough material to continue delivering more value to people that's all you need to do does that make sense let me know because this is a really, really good way of building a long-term business. Because eventually you realize that, okay, one of those eight ways is really time consuming. It doesn't bring in enough clients and not everyone enjoys it. Let's scrap that. Let's do something else. And you can do that as well. Okay. All right. Giselle says, make sense and don't forget to save your board. I think I will. It's a good point, but I don't know because I'm still on free trial it doesn't help me do that properly okay nope don't want to clear the page okay I think that's it then as I mentioned before not every session will be an hour long some will be slightly shorter some will be longer but that's it from my side is there anything I can help you with today let me know because if not then we will reconvene next tuesday and we'll be talking about building a website from scratch not just a, a funnel but how to use skyview to build a website the way we did but great uh is the previous session available to view absolutely if you go to support.skyview.com if you jump on over to the knowledge base over here, the previous session is available right over here and the general 22nd of May. That's when we did the last one, the practical side of business. We also usually send out an email with that link. Okay, cool. Now implement, get results and come back and tell me how it went for you. All right. Cool. Have a good rest of the day and uh, we'll get the replay out by tomorrow and I'll see you soon. Bye everyone.